Hello and welcome back to the Best Travel Channel. Today I'm in Blackburn, one of many large former textile towns in the north. Today it is primarily known for Blackburn Rovers Football Club, but as a town it is worth a visit and within reach of other interesting places too. This cathedral is the first sight that greets you when leaving the train station. Unlike most cathedrals, it has no large window. It instead features this large metal button. It's actually a sculpture, and this sculpture has fibre optics that shine through the multiple holes. The cathedral, finished in 1977, mixes old and new, with modern art depicting Jesus. While parts seem influenced by Eastern Orthodox churches. If you look up on a sunny day, you'll be treated by a kaleidoscope of colours. On Fleming Square, you'll find the Exchange Arcade and this impressive purpose-built bank built in the 1870s. It's not uncommon to find striking yet temporary art on pub walls in the north which are often changed. This is part of Blackburn College, but oozes extravagance at a late 19th century landmark inspired by French architecture from the Renaissance. A statue of Barbara Castle, a long-standing MP for the town who oversaw the introduction of speed limits, seatbelt usage, breathalysers and the Equal Pay Act, stands outside the college. Blackburn's Town Hall wouldn't look out of place in Venice or Florence, and is just around the corner from Blackburn's main free entry museum. St John's Church, which is 235 years old, has been derelict since a fire in 2019. East Lancashire has many amazing places of natural beauty, and for my final stop, I travelled to Worley. Worley was voted as one of the top 50 places to live in by the Sunday Times. Trains from Blackburn to Worley and nearby Clivero pass on this viaduct. It is Lancashire's longest viaduct, with 48 arches. This viaduct is over 2,000 feet long, 70 feet high, and took 7 million bricks to be completed. It was opened in 1850. Interestingly, two arches collapsed during construction, and today we see two arches that have been characteristically filled in. Along the quiet country road is the Worley Abbey Gatehouse. This was completed in 1320, 
with some well-made ribbed vaults. The significance of Worley as a religious village can be seen with this Roman Catholic church, with outdoor icons. Its Stations of the Cross, observed by Catholics during Easter, and like many churches, are found outside in this well-kept garden. Woolley's main attraction by far is its 14th century abbey. The entrance fee is £3 and includes a paper guide. The abbey was the home to Cistercian monks and abbots, and they were part of a Catholic religious order that split from the Benedictine monks. This abbey, like many, was dissolved during the reign of Henry VIII in 1537. Here lay the cloisters, a corridor of arches surrounding a square. A working example of such can be found at New College in Oxford. A trough of water here was used by monks to wash their hands before entering the kitchen. Their diet was mainly vegetarian. A wooden door leads to the monks' kitchen. The dormitories face this direction towards peaceful fields. Still standing is the abbot's kitchen, across from which is the Rera Dorta, where people went to the toilet. The waste would drop down chutes or holes into a stream which then fed through to the river. While monks ate simply, abbots had meat, and this large kitchen has several ovens for spit roasting and baking bread. Further down the road a little is St Mary's Church, just next to the primary school. Far it does not look remarkable, however its churchyard has a stone grave along with three Anglo-Saxon gravestones. According to legend, if you can decipher the message on this one, you become invisible.
The organ inside this church is 300 years old. These little things are misery cords and are found on wooden pews. Here you'll find angels, a man putting horseshoes on a goose, and a wife beating his husband with a pan. Well that was my day out in Blackburn and Worley. I hope this inspires you to check out your local area, or even come to Blackburn for a visit. Take care, and I'll see you again soon.